Where do artists get ideas? From what they see. This is called observational drawing. A still life is a drawing or painting of an item that an artist would like to look at more closely. Douglas Wiltrout is a local artist from the Banana Factory in Bethlehem, and he is nationally known for creating beautiful still lives that capture light. Speaking of capturing light, Claude Monet, who invented a style of art called Impressionism, wanted to capture the light that he saw and how light affects color and his impression of time. Artist Edward Hopper liked to capture moments in time and people within those moments. For example, these people awake at night, the contrast between the dark night and the bright interior of the restaurant. Artists make artwork from what they feel. Vincent van Gogh was an expressionist artist. He expressed his feelings through the motions, the marks, and the colors in his artwork. This very famous painting, The Starry Night, was actually painted through the window of his hospital. He painted the sky looking alive because he believed the sky looked more alive at night than the day. Edvard Munch painted the screen. He wrote about it saying, one evening I was walking along a path, the city on one side and the bridge below. I felt tired and ill. I stopped and looked out over the bridge. The sun was setting and the clouds turned blood red. I sensed a scream passing through nature. It seemed to me that I heard the scream. I painted this picture painted the clouds as actual blood. The color shrieked. This became the scream. Color can represent feeling. This painting by Mark Rothko is a color field painting and could very much represent mood and emotion at a certain time. Artists create work about what they remember. Mary Cassatt painted work about family and about children and the people who surrounded her in her life. Norman Rockwell was an illustrator for the New York Times and he created artwork all about American tradition. Other artwork from memory is a little more dreamlike. This artist creates work from memory and they call him the human camera. His name is Stephen Wiltshire. He's an artist with autism and he is an expert at recreating cities, even ones that he has only seen once in perfect detail. What would you draw from memory? What's important for you to remember? Artists also draw what they imagine. Keith Herring from Kutztown, Pennsylvania always just wanted to keep drawing. He doodled on everything and created many creatures and characters straight from his imagination. Artwork from the Middle Ages or the Renaissance era often included fantasy creatures or mythology. Salvador Dali was a surreal artist. He made artwork that was dreamlike, creating worlds of his own with things that would be completely impossible in our world. Zen tangles are a form of art where you use your imagination to create patterns and you just keep letting it flow. Imagination worksheets are helpful if you want to stretch and grow your imagination. Where do artists get ideas? From what they see, feel, imagine and remember. How does your brain work? Are you more on the left, thinking, or do you lead more with your heart? You'll choose either feel, imagine, remember, or see as a theme for your first artwork.